सो हे रमान वट्स एप आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एप्सोली ग्रेट आज हम लोग देखने वाले हैं वी आर गोइंग टू बी डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक एंड दैट इज हाउ टू लर्न स्पीकिंग फ्लूएंट इंग्लिश बाई ज्योति वर्मा ऑब्वियसली सो दिस वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर मेनी पीपल लाइक लिटरली मेनी पीपल दैट हाउ डू यू और स्पीक और हाउ शुड बी एक्चुअली स्पीक फ्लूएंट इंग्लिश लर्न स्पीकिंग फ्लूएंट इंग्लिश देर वॉज सम पीपल वर टेलिंग दैट वेन आई थिंक अबाउट इंग्लिश इन माई माइंड आई एम ऑलवेज लाइक आई एम मतलब आई एम ऑलवेज लाइक सो फ्लूएंट विद द लैंग्वेज बट वेन आई स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग इट सो I don't know what that expression actually meant, but uh, I, I, I hope you have understand a bit of it. So, guys, hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So, I'm going to try to make the, my be, uh, try my best to make this video as short as possible and tell you guys some important points which you need to know about speaking fluent English. I hope you all are ready as I'm start. As I am to start learning and have fun learning this together. So let's respect and support each other. Here we go. So if you haven't joined me on Telegram yet, so go ahead and join me on Telegram for all the study material and updates needed. So the first thing that I had to tell about is how did I learn English even being an average kid. So here is my screen. So I'm looking here. So please apologize for me for that. So uh, how did I learn you know English speaking even being an average kid? So the journey began something like this that when i was in first standard i never knew about the language even i used to say to my mother that i'll be never be able to learn this particular language which which was actually english uh, it seemed to me always very tough and difficult uh, as it might seem to you guys as well but uh, you know uh, that was about how hard you work and how, what type of dedication do you have towards your work and towards uh, learning or actually i wanted to learn english from my heart from my heart and soul and i did that so so in that the most useful person in you know Uh, in the journey has been my father and my teacher so how are they to uh, you know they uh, how have they uh, to been so important or what is the role that they have played so first thing is about my father so actually uh, i am from i'm belonging from bihar i live there so uh, actually the first thing was that when my father used to study um, you know at his time he if my father does not know english for your information he does not know english uh, uh, you know the basics are like uh, always uh, you know he knows the basics of uh, basics of english like uh, obviously basic is something that we all know but we don't know how to speak it and how to approach it the same thing is with my father he does not know english but he taught me english i don't know how he did that magic but still he did and for me he's always a magician and a superman obviously so uh, actually i live in bihar so in my uh, uh, when my father used to go to school he used to get books of english translation for learning english so he had started learning english for when he was in grade 6 uh, not because he wanted to learn it because school gave him a, a, a you know english as a subject so he used to refer rk sinha's book wait a sec i'll show it to you yes guys so here it is so he used to refer the books of rk sinha so i uh, even i started referring it as i used to live in bihar so in bihar everyone like almost everyone for learning english they follow the books of rk sinha so for rk sinha i had followed four to five books i have completely completed those translation books and that's how i learned english okay so i don't think this might keep any importance for you people even my teacher taught me uh, you know, english from the very basic like when i was in first standard she taught me english for junior kg senior kg and then the books of first standard as well so i you know uh, i don't want to cheat and say that there was no involvement of my teacher in uh, in making me learning uh, speak english my teachers were actually playing one of those most important roles and obviously there are three things which were involved my hard work and dedication my father and my teachers so the first point is aaj hi se start karo start it today start as early as today because kal kare so aaj kal aaj kare so ab so start it from today because kabhi bhi late nahi hota whenever you start it uh, abhi aap socho ki yaar ek mahine baad chalu karunga waise bhi jab chalu karoge tab it's early right aisa nahi hota if you are starting it today it's early if you are starting it tomorrow you will be so late so start it as it as early as today now 
and what motivation will quote knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice the same happens with english as well it's of no use until and unless you put it into practice so you need to practice english daily which we are going to look ahead so put it into practice does not with just practicing english means when you are approaching english when you are making some use out of it now watch english skit videos and not cartoons so actually why i have written this so actually uh, even i you know when uh, even i wanted to improve my communication skills in english so i used to watch some videos uh, regarding this topic so there were some videos which used to actually tell me that you should we should watch movies we should watch cartoons in english and uh, i thought that yeah if i will listen english if i'll be able to you know watch english obviously <laughs> so i learn english so uh, uh, i even i did the same so i l- used to love doraemon i like i'm a big fan of doraemon i don't watch any other cartoon i like i, I watch some more indian cartoons that's that motu patlu it's my damn favorite even more than doraemon so doraemon is a japanese anime which i used to watch a lot and that also hindi dub not japanese because i don't know japanese neither english i know english but literally do you feel comfortable with english watching those cartoon videos means cartoon is a such thing which you watch for entertainment and uh, i don't think that i feel at all comfortable watching those cartoon videos in english because uh, that's totally in my comfort zone and english is so near to my uh, english is not so near to my heart hindi is so near to my heart that's what i wanted to say so hindi is so near to my heart that i can't watch cartoon videos in english so i thought that i'll watch some skit videos so i, I started watching some skit videos of uh, um dorman or something like uh, yeah the name was dorman so their their videos are in english so they are really helpful for improving your communication skills you can watch their videos so don't watch cartoon in english at all or you'll be you'll be distracted डायलॉग आप सीखने की जगह आप हिंदी में फिर कार्टून देखना स्टार्ट करोगे बिकॉज ऑब्वियस इन इंग्लिश यू विल नॉट बी कंफर्टेबल नाउ practice daily by talking to yourself इवन आई टॉक टू माई सेल्फ अलाउ इवन वेन आई एम फ्रस्ट्रेटेड वेन आई एम हैप्पी I try to make out some skits and some dramas. Like, एक skit किया जिसमें I'm acting as a hero and there are some villains in me and I'm fighting with them and I'm कन्वर you know I'm speaking dialogues in english i am doing conversation even i take some i sometimes take my interview my own interview uh, in english i i tell about that how's everything going and everything i asked a different questions to me and i answer those question myself in english i do not need a mirror in front of me i can do it like i what i do is i set a 15 minute timer that in 15 minutes i have to clean the entire room and while cleaning i take my interview or talk to myself and that's how it happens so talk whenever you uh, talk whenever you get time with yourself because talking with yourself is the key to success in english <laughs> now grammar is the backbone of the language so i had studied this rk sinha's book this is the only one book which i have this is the junior book this is the very basic book then one book that was one more junior so let's a senior book it was thick something like this this much that also i've read but that i have given to my neighbor so i don't have it right now that i had oxford book uh, which people used to get when they were in grade 10 well i'll show it to you one second Yes, guys. So here this is. So this is the book which I completed again. And these books are in Hindi language. So I had learned English in Hindi. As you guys can see, they are in Hindi. So uh, I don't know if because of the chroma key you can't see it, but yes. So uh, I had it. I learned English in Hindi only. So grammar is a big backbone of the language. So translation didn't just help me to translate out my words, but they also helped me to make my grammar really strong. And I started from the scratch, from the very basics. So आपको आप scratch से start करते हो नहीं feel like the sentence या यही chapter पढ़ने की क्या जरूरत है? This तो I know. Let's let's move on to second chapter. जब आपको आता है ये तो माया वरी who even learning English. So start from the very scratch. जो पढ़ रखा है, जो आपको लगता है यार ये तो मुझे आता है, वो भी पढ़ना है आपको. So start from the very scratch, from the very basics, because you never know what actually have you skipped out from them and practice 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 is not just important for mathematics but it's also important for other subjects so practice as much as you can improve your communication skills how to improve it talk to people talk to yourself watching uh, watching some you know motivational speakers or something like that maybe it would be helpful for you to improve your communication skills refer translation books as i said translation books kyu refer karni hai kyunki yaar english ke ab grammar books mere paas bhi grammar manuals hai i have grammar manuals of n k agarwal unki mere unki first to eighth grade ke sare grammar ke gold brothers ke textbook hai aur unki manual bhi mere paas hai jo ki in common manual hai moti si 
सो वो ग्रामर होती है बट यार वॉट एग्जैक्टली आई एम ट्राइंग टू से ट्रांसलेशन बुक्स आर यू नो मोर इफेक्टिव एज ग्रामर बुक्स इन लर्निंग इंग्लिश अगर आपको हिंदी ऑलरेडी आती है तो इंग्लिश लर्निंग विल बिकम वेरी इजी मैंने ट्रांसलेशन की बुक्स ही पढ़ी थी तो देखो ये ट्रांसलेशन की बुक होती है इसमें चीज़ें हिंदी में होती हैं एंड उनको इंग्लिश में बताई जाती है इसमें चीज़ें हिंदी में लिखी होती है एंड इंग्लिश में आपको एक्सप्लेन करी जाती है आप हिंदी से इंग्लिश में कैसे ट्रांसलेट करते हो वो सिखाया जाता है विद करेक्ट ग्रामर तो इसे ग्रामर के साथ साथ ट्रांसलेशन दो चीज़ें सही होगी वैल यू इफ यू लर्न ग्रामर आपका ग्रामर अच्छा हो जाएगा मे बी यू आर नॉट एबल टू स्पीक इंग्लिश येस एंड स्टोरी बुक्स रीड किया करो आई यूज टू रीड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टोरी बुक्स रीडिंग तो मैंने बहुत करी है तो रीडिंग स्टोरी बुक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई यूज टू आस्क माई डैड टू ब्रिंग मी दोज बुक्स ऑफ अकबर एंड बीरबल एंड यू नो वंस आई रेड अ बुक ऑफ वंस अपॉन अ टाइम एंड विच देर मेनी स्टोरीज आई यूज टू रीड अ लॉट ऑफ इंग्लिश स्टोरी बुक्स यू आर नॉट अलोन यू हैव इंटरनेट बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम वेन आई वॉज लर्निंग इंग्लिश आई वॉज हैविंग इंटरनेट बट आई वॉज एंड नोइंग हाउ टू यूज इंटरनेट एज मीन्स ऑफ लर्निंग सो आई डि नॉट यूज इंटरनेट एंड लॉट यू नो फॉर लर्निंग इंग्लिश बट यू हैव इंटरनेट यू हैव टीचर्स यू हैव इंग्लिश लेसन सो गो आई हैड एंड यूज दैम ऑल बिकॉज यू आर नॉट अलोन यू हैव इंटरनेट एंड मी ऑलवेज विद यू गाइज सो फॉर ऑल द स्टडी मटेरियल दैट यू नीड गो हैड एंड जॉइन मी ऑन टेलीग्राम इफ यू स्टिल एनी क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन आस्क मी ऑन टेलीग्राम एट ज्योति वर्मा अंडर स्कोर इलेवन और इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई बी ऑलवेज देयर टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन पीपल एंड यू कैन डू इट इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव टू सेस सो लेट मी जूम दिस आउट सो एस वॉट आई हैव टू से एस यू कैन डू इट एंड यू हैव टू डू इट आपको करना है आप कर सकते हो नेवर एवर गिव अप लर्न इंग्लिश और अगली बार जब आप मेरी सेशन में आओगे सो इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन मुझे जरूर बताना कि हैव यू स्टार्ट एड लर्निंग इंग्लिश और यू आर ऑलरेडी गुड एड इंग्लिश मिलते अपने नेक्स्ट वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर टाटा एंड बाय बाय सो